Hey, Ben, uh, really excited to, uh, to ask you some questions. Um, thanks for taking a little bit of time. Um, so, hey, Ben, so you're uh, a graduate of, of Rankin Technical College and uh, the programming or what used to be called internet and web-based. And yeah. uh, I'll let you introduce yourself. Uh, who are you and what are you doing now? Sure. So my name is Ben Schneider. I'm 26 years old. Uh, decided to check out Rankin right outside of high school. Was turned on to it immediately because I'm a very hands-on learner. I tried to teach myself programming using Codecademy. Uh, quickly realized that I needed a I needed a mentor, right? I needed someone to interact with, and uh, I knew right away that you know Rankin was was for me. So um, yeah, I mean, through that first course, we got a little bit of everything, and uh, decided you know <laughs> Evan came in and gave his his spiel about how much money we'd be making, and you know, um, <laughs> I, I really did enjoy the the front end, you know, building websites and things like that. So decided to go down the uh, internet and web-based technology course. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. So cool. now, so now, uh, towards the end, I think you slid a paper across my desk said, Hey, you need to, uh, go interview for this company <laughs> at the time. It was called Aegis strategies. Uh, it was a government consultancy. So we do department of defense contracting work. Um, I was supposed to go on a contract. It was a young company at the time. Things shifted around. And I ended up doing internal IT just because of like the wide range of skills, you know, some that I learned from Rankin, some that I learned on my own. Um, I went down a little bit of a different path and I ended up not really, um, I'm actually doing like media and marketing now. Uh, so it's interesting, you know, kind of how my skill set has transformed kind of my, my career path. And um, I guess a lot of that has to do with, I built, um, I built the, so I was really into cars, right? I know I'm sure you always saw like my screensavers and whatnot. Everyone said, Ben, why don't you, you know, if you're so into cars, why are you not working on that? Why are you not on the mechanics course? Um, and I was like, cause I want to own them. I don't, I don't want to work on them. Right. Uh, it's just my joke. But, uh, one of the things Evan would have me do would be build websites for, for projects. And what was it? Every semester or every quarter, we would have to build a website for a, a client. Yeah. Uh, so one of those was I'm like, wait, what can I do around cars? Well, I, I found this disorganization in St. Louis around uh, car events. So I built this thing called cars and coffee, St. Louis. And to make a long story short of that, uh, it turned into what is now one of the, if not the largest car event organization in St. Louis. Um, and through that, I had to learn how to like do videography, photography, building, you know, obviously the website, social media marketing, all that stuff. So when I kind of outgrew this IT position at Uncommon or Aegis Strategies, the, the company that I work for, um, they said, you know, the partners there said, hey, why don't you come do what you do outside of work for us? And they actually considered me to have a bachelor's degree in kind of a media marketing space just because of what I did um, with Cars and Coffee. So it's been a mixture between right what I've learned at Rankin and what I've self-taught myself that's kind of brought me to where I am today. It's kind of a more unique position. That's awesome. How long? So again, so the company changed names. Yeah. And so how long have you worked there total? Yeah, so I've been there uh, a little over six years now. Six years. Um, yeah, so we transitioned, I believe it was three years ago. Um, we just decided that Aegis Strategies, was there was too many Aegis Strategies around and it wasn't descriptive enough. So we've, we've now changed and the company's called Uncommon, U-N-C-O-M-N. -N. And because uh, we, we hire Uncommon Geniuses, that's, that's, our, that's our thing. Uh, we've kind of got this little band of misfits, right? Uh, Everyone's kind of got their own thing. My uncommon genius is cars, right? Um, it's just something outside of my uh, career that I, you know, this thing that I do. We have people that have worked on satellites that have went to, you know, asteroids. We've we've have people that you know work with dogs, and I don't know. We've got people that do all kinds of just crazy things. So it's very interesting. 
And so your job there, it sounds like a, a blend of many skills. Some you learned at Rankin, some you learned uh, outside of Rankin, yeah? Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Um, yeah, the if I, if I would not have my skill set, you know, all the things that I learned at Rankin, for one, it distilled a lot of discipline in me. I started working from home uh, recently, and I found myself having to almost like, you know, just – give myself extra discipline. I mean, Rankin was, you know, the rules may be, you know, a little tighter there than, than some would assume, but I mean, it's, it's, it was an amazing thing. Um, it really taught me like, I don't know, just how to, how to be a really hard worker. Yeah. Uh, I found myself, you know, when I would leave Rankin, I, I, I had a job and, you know, outside of school and I went and got an office space down in Cortex, <laughs> like go to school, go to work. And then I go to my office and I build out, you know, cars and coffee and, Today I'm like I don't know if I could do that without a without ranking structure. Well, I still see your Snapchats from time to time, and you do are involved with code, right? You, you still write code from time to time, and it's yeah. still in your toolkit, yeah. Oh, absolutely. So actually, that's it's it's um, it's ironic that we're just you know having this because just I just started picking up more uh, website projects at work. Nice. So we have a, we have an internal dev team, but they're working on client projects, right? So our internal sites, um, I've just I've, I've been working on two, um, and I've got another one that I'm working on right now. Okay. And I'm, you know, as you know, like I always make my Snapchat stories, my Instagram stories. That's kind of the thing that I do. I like to document the things that I work on, right? Awesome. And because of that, I built this brand in which opportunities come to me, right? Because people people will. You know, they'll, they'll joke at me, you know, oh, you film this, you film that, who cares? I'm like, no, you don't realize what I'm doing, right? I'm showing people what I'm good at because you could have all of these skills. And if you're not showing the world, no one knows. So, yeah. you know, I'm people are like, wow, how did you get that gig? You know, who did you call? I didn't call anybody. They called me because they know that I, I do those types of things. So. so you've been working from home since COVID, I assume. Are you back at all in the office or is it 100% remote? I was working remote before uh, COVID. It was one oh. day a week at the office. And uh, so it wasn't much of a transition for me, but we have an office at T-Rex down here in downtown St. Louis. Yeah. So I'll bounce over there every yeah. now and again for things. I could see the, the Hilton Hotel kind of out of your balcony there. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, are you on a laptop and you can kind of show your view of downtown? I'd love to see it. Sure, let's do it. Yeah, we got to show off your place. <laughs> so by the way, do you, where, where do you live? This is a uh, one cardinal way in uh, downtown St. Louis. So, let's see if it'll focus there. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll go out on the uh, on the balcony. So you can see the stadium. I <laughs> uh, love it. Pretty fantastic, I will say. <laughs> That's pretty beautiful. So, we got to see him redo the grass. You know, they stripped the whole stadium out. I never do. They did things like that. So it was um, pretty cool. And there's a, there's, a, there's a pool on your roof, yeah? There is a pool on the eighth floor. I'm on the 12th floor, yep. It's an infinity pool that overlooks the, the stadium. Uh, yeah. Yeah. It's a yeah. Good, place to, good place to have meetings. That's cool, man. <laughs> I, like I, I kind of joked with you before we recorded. It's like, not all of my alumni live in cool laws, but this one, <laughs> this guy lives in a pretty cool. <laughs> uh, yeah, 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 yeah. So we'll, we'll see if uh, if we stay towards the end of the, the lease. I'd like to stay. It's it's very exciting down here. I really enjoy the energy. I'm a very high energy person. Um, you know, if if I'm not, or people are like, oh, isn't it loud and uh, annoying? And you know, I I enjoy that because even if I don't go out on the weekends, you know, I can still, you know, you get the vibes, right? Yeah. From the city, and I, I thrive on that. I feel it's meaningful. So, uh, you know, you're talking to a, a small class of first semester students that are just getting started in web development, right and writing writing code, and learning their first languages. Um, and so, kind of, you know, what advice would you give to these guys just starting out? Yeah, absolutely. Um, I would say definitely building. Building an online portfolio, right? Just, you know, that is, is it still required for everyone to build an online portfolio? For yeah, yeah, we still do that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so that, I, I, I put extra time and effort into that. Um, 
I, I would definitely say that that was probably one of the reasons I am where I am today, if that makes sense. Like, um, you know, cause one, one, you know, one little thing that, I don't know, one little thing can change your, your entire, your entire future. Uh, I don't think I would have got, I don't think I would have stayed at Uncommon and got that IT job because, you know, I, on the side, I worked on computers. And I made sure to document that in my online portfolio. So whenever I didn't get my uh, clearance in the beginning because of whatever, um, they knew what my other skill sets were. So once I realized that, I was, you know, it really kind of dawned on me that I need to start documenting all, like I said, like all the things that I do. So, you know, anybody out there that's, you know, you always have, there's a lot of, I, I did not feel like the smartest person in the room, you know, whatever I went to, to write. We had some really, really intelligent people, but it was, it was the fact that, you know, I was out there showing what I was doing that kind of gave me the upper hand um, over some of the other people who may have building, they were building amazing games, web apps, all of these things, but no one knew about it. So I'm all about that. I'm all about just, Self-marketing, maybe. Yeah. It's not a brag, right? People, you know, I'm not, you know, when I film the sunsets out at the apartment, I'm not bragging, trying to inspire. When I'm filming my code, I'm not like, ooh, look how smart I am. I'm like, you know, look look how cool this is. Look how beautiful code is. Look what, here's the result. Here's what I can do for you, right? So it, it's, it's, yeah, it's really about the value. You know, if you're worried about if money is your thing, right? Um, it's, it's how much value can you bring to the customer? Um, and, you know, I don't, that's, that's really it. I so know. when I'm listening to you, it just sounds like self-marketing. Yeah. Building a brand. You know, with ages social media, word of mouth spreads really fast. So, um, I mean, social media is a very powerful tool. I think I misused it a lot early on in my life. Yeah. Um, quickly realized that, you know, to stay away from the gossip and the politics, don't talk about people. Right. Like, let's make this a positive experience. Let's use this to inspire people. People pick up on that energy. Right. Yeah. Um, and and people want to be around people who are, are positive, people who are educating um, and good networkers. Uh, I, networking is by far, I would say, my most you know valuable skill um, going to before COVID. We had Venture Cafe over at the Cortex uh, building. Uh, I think my name tag said like 60 before I left. I would, I would go not for any, you know, not for the free beer, not for, cause I was going to meet somebody just to shake hands and see what would come of it. And things did come of it. I have a stack of business cards in my room that it's, you know, a foot high. It's crazy. Um, so anytime I would ever need, you know, if I, if I ever come up with a cool product and I need it prototyped, I know who to call. If I need a, you know, if I need a iOS app built and I don't know how to do it, I know who to call. Uh, there's a pretty, um, yeah, yeah. Arnold versus Lou Ferrigno, this big heavyweight battle back in the day. And Lou was actually bigger than Arnold. Yeah, but what was. Arnold did really well is he sold himself. In other words, he learned how to pose. And so Lou was actually a bigger guy by mass, but Arnold, um, Arnold advertised well. And what I'm hearing you say is, yes, I'm doing these things, but I'm also, I've learned the value of advertising myself i love that i mean that that could not i i could have just said that <laughs> when yeah. you asked the question that's that's perfect i mean honestly that is that's your biggest thing you know the whole network is your you know your net worth is your network your network you, you network. touched on you touched on salary a little bit um let's go back to that um yeah. any advice that you would give around like what kind of what kind of um uh, uh advice you would give around salary Okay. Um, when I, so when I first started, uh, at uncommon, you just at the time, uh, I was, it was me and another guy. We were the very first interns. He had a bachelor's degree and I had my associates. He made $10,000 more than I did. Um, I was okay with that. Right. Because in my mind, um, I was going to show my worth and I was going to figure out a way to, to work my way up in the company. Uh, I would say that now companies maybe aren't focused as much more on, you know, they're not focused on degrees as much um, as they, as maybe they used to be. Not that it's been that long since I've been in school, but um, you know, I, I wouldn't have trade my associate's degree experience at Rankin 
for any other college bachelor degree, I would rather make that less money and just, you know, have this, what I've learned the skill sets that I learned from making that experience. Cause I feel like that that's going to, to, to drive me to end up making that. Cause I'm, I'm like in it for the long haul. Right. Um, so yeah. And then also I, I've never been as much worried about salary because I try to use my skills outside of work. Um, you know, I'm not, I don't, I don't see like my income is just my, my job, my nine to five, yeah. but that's just kind of how I am. Yeah. So, you know, I'm not saying that's right or wrong. That's totally, if you want to come home after work and, and, you know, watch TV or whatever, that's probably healthier <laughs> um, from a mental standpoint. But, you know, I, I don't know. I, I, I just, I've always just kind of wanted to build my own thing and do my own thing. And, and, you know, I, I've full confidence that that I'm going to do that and I'm going to, to pull that off. Yeah, um, I think that's great. I think that's great. That's a hard, hard question to answer. <laughs> no, it's a good way to look at it. Um, okay, so I try to keep these to 10 to 15 minutes. We are on that We are on that uh, duration. Is there anything else that you want to say kind of to wrap things up? Um, I have a question. What, what's the class learning right now? This is uh, the first semester web development class. So we learned HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. And for the first time this semester, we're getting into React. We've never ah. taught React in first semester, and so myself and some of these guys are kind of learning ad hoc, you know, as we go. Uh, so I'm kind of a few steps ahead of them, and yeah, yeah so kind of excited cool. to be learning something new. Yeah, it's exciting that that Rankin's always picking up on these new technologies and and, and teaching it. Um, I love that, but yeah. I don't really have anything else. Um, if I have any. Uh, you know, anybody out there that's that once we have some job openings at Uncommon, uh, if you guys are interested, you can go to, um, let me double check, I believe it is Uncommon.com or Careers.Uncommon.com. So you can head to Careers.Uncommon.com. Um, you can also follow us on Facebook, LinkedIn, all of those good things. Well, that's, I, I know that's, that's, you know, kind of the common ending, but I, I will say uh, Uncommon yeah. has hired a handful of Rankin alumni. You're not the only one that's worked there. So it is yep. a good company to kind of check out and see what's on there, especially if they have any sort of internships and that kind of stuff. Yeah, it's crazy. I was, right, I was the 15th employee and now we're like 2, 220, 230. I mean, it's, it's skyrocketing. It's that's unbelievable. That's great. Um, it's fantastic. And I will also uh, plug Cars and Coffee if I have any car fans out there. You guys look us up, <laughs> Cars and Coffee St. Louis. Yeah, you, you host some really successful events. I mean, I just see the, the pictures and whatnot. And, yeah. uh, man, I tell you what, I'm so proud of you. I'm so happy for you. Congratulations on your success. Thank you, sir. And, uh, and keep doing what you're doing. Can't wait to see you in five to ten years. Absolutely. Thank you for everything, Evan. You've okay. been a big inspiration, big help. Uh, uh, whatever. So. Thank you, though. Appreciate that. <laughs> All right. Take care. See you guys. Alrighty, bye. Take care, guys.